Well, hey friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. So, a couple months ago, we installed a uh, wood stove out here in our shop and moved on to this property a couple months ago and, you know, decided that I wanted to put a stove in so that we'd have a little bit of heat in the shop during the wintertime. And it doesn't heat the shop, but it does provide um, something nice to come in and snuggle up to whenever you've been out doing chores. But anyway, I didn't have any wood cut and so I had to buy some wood um, off of an ad that was placed on I think I found it on Facebook marketplace and this is it right here over my shoulder we'll talk about it here in a second the guy brought it out delivered it paid 150 bucks he said it was a cord he was pretty close to a cord um, but there were a lot of problems with it the guy was super nice professional and when I asked him how long you been in the wood cutting business he said well, I'm really not. This is just some that I think a family member had had. They were elderly. It had smoked up their house. They got scared of it and wanted him to get rid of it. So he had that plus a little extra stuff here and there. And he sold it to us. But let's go over and take a look at it. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about a couple of the problems that we ran into with it. And what we're going to do to uh, try to correct it. It's going to take us about a year. It's going to take about a year to fix this problem. But uh, anyway, hang out with us for a little bit and let's talk about... Uh, preparing for next season right, so <clears throat> this is our uh this is our wood and i have had it covered up with a tarp i know we're right here on the eve of the eve of the shop i have had it covered up with a tarp so for those of you that say um the reason it's wet or staying wet is your fault um i'll argue with just a little bit because we have kept it covered up but anyway this is this is the stack that's left and like i said we bought about a cord and one thing that i've found is we really enjoy having a fire uh, in the shop and I've gone through quite a bit of wood so far we've still got some left but we've gone through gone through quite a bit some of the problems that we've had with this this is just some gnarly gnarly stuff I mean there's a piece that's crooked which I mean you know I, I get that um, some of it is is pretty nice you know we've got some here that's you know right here's a real nice piece you know it's about the right length split up nice looks good and all that kind of thing but let's go inside and we'll give you a little bit of an illustration on <clears throat> what we've ran into with this stuff. And again, some of it's been wet. Uh, it's not been properly cured. We throw it in the stove and we immediately get this bubbling, hissing, boiling of water out. Um, so some of it has been wet. Some of it's dry. There was a lot of limb wood in it. You know, not real tickled about that. But I mean, hey, it's wood and it burns. But uh, the split stuff has just been a little bit of a pain this over here this is what i'm really kind of going for and what i'm hoping for and this is a piece of a black walnut that was up on top of the hill that had been cut down prior to us getting here it's about 39 feet long this ends up i think it this is close to a face cord not quite but it's real close but you know we took this and you know we've we've cut all this into 16 inch lengths and we've split it this is a little bigger chunk but we've split all of it down pretty good and have got you know some pretty nice stuff to toss in the stove i mean that's you know that's not that's not bad at all in my you know in my opinion but anyway let's go inside let me show you what we're dealing with and uh, <laughs> it's uh it's a mess got some rounds over here we're gonna get those split up um, and what we're going to do today i've got this little piece of a black walnut left over here this was the the top out of that tree that jamie and i had cut out of the creek uh, we're getting ready for our fencing project. This is the top out of that. There's no real good saw logs. I kept the saw logs there over there. But uh, we're going we're gonna, to uh, block this up and get it ready for the splitter. And I've got a couple other up on the hill. And I'll go show you those. And we're going to get those blocked up too. But let's go inside and I'll show you the problem with uh, buying wood on Facebook Marketplace. So here's a real quick illustration of uh, kind of what I'm talking about in this stuff just being odd lengths so this first little piece of limb wood right here is 12 inches long which that's fine I, I get that you know you're gonna have little short pieces still makes the stacking piece frustrating as the devil but okay that's fine but this devil here look at this 22 I think it's 22 and three quarters yeah 22 and three quarters inch long that won't even fit in my stove so i'm going to, have to recut that so again you know if you're going to buy from uh from somebody on craigslist or facebook marketplace 
probably a good idea to either go pick up your own or get some references and make sure that you uh, make sure you know what you're getting and uh, some of this this one this one's not but some of it has been kind of uh, kind of wet and that's not good for the stove so it's problems with uh, buying offline or buying a product uh, online Okay, so here's what we're going to work on. Um, I've got a couple of logs down up here that I think they were, were some stuff that had fallen that um, somebody had had cut and kind of moved over to the side out of the road. But I've got this big one right here. I think that's a white oak. I'm not sure what these other two are. They may be the same, but um, some of it's, I mean, that's still pretty solid. We might carve into this one and see. It's a little punky on a little punky on the outside we may carve into that one and see if there's anything in there worth saving but anyway got a white oak right, I'm pretty sure that's a white oak right there and then down here I've got a, a silver maple that um, we were up here walking around the other day and I just happened to walk up here and looked at this thing and I don't know what happened but uh, I'm glad I wasn't here when it did because it looks like the wind has caught this thing and just absolutely twisted it look at that i mean the wind it looks like the wind has caught that thing and just twisted it and broken the top right out of it and it's laying here so and again i think this i think it's a silver maple um y'all that are better at uh, tree species identification um leave me a comment uh down below what you think this is but i think that's silver maple and again i think that other one up there is white oak and again, if, 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 I'm, if I'm off, let me know I'm off. Um, I'm new at this and trying to learn how to identify these trees. <laughs> just, just don't know yet. Got to work through it. But anyway, we're going we're gonna to block this one up. And we're going to block that one up. And uh, that black walnut down there. And uh, see if we can get all this done before we uh, run out of daylight and or need to get the chores done. All right, so this first log up here, and it's kind of still kind of punky on the on the bottom side, but I mean it's pretty solid in the middle. So I think it's going to be, I think it'll be fine. Um, we all think that is. I, I think that's probably white oak too, because it's laying here with this other, and I'm imagining that it all got brought down here at the same time. Most of the bark's eating off of this one for whatever reason. But let me know what you think is that. I think that's white oak too. But anyway cut up pretty good um gotta roll these other down here and get the bottom sides down but yeah that worked out pretty good and this little thing right here my little measuring device works good the only thing that i found out is uh you can't make too deep of a cut or you'll catch it and knock it off but i mean that glue i just use a little jb weld epoxy and that uh, seemed to be holding pretty good so all right we'll finish getting this thing cut up Well, that one little bit right there gave us uh, 
nine yeah nine rounds so that'll be a pretty good little spot of wood the southern's a little bigger i still gotta cut that one it's a, it's real rotten at the top you got a a uh, fork in it but this other one a little bit of a beast so let's go ahead and mark it off and uh maybe see if we can get blocked up Okay, I've got this one just about finished blocked, but it was real good till I got down here to this end and the, the side that was laying on the ground. Um, it's pretty rotten, but uh, it right there. Um, still kind of solid in the middle, but I don't think I'm gonna fool taking that down the shop. I'm gonna finish cutting this one up here. But gonna end up with two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about nine, ten rounds off of this one. So these two trees right here, this is gonna be. This is probably gonna be a third of a cord, just what little bit we've cut here. So, getting ready for next year. Always gotta be thinking a season ahead. Okay, we got half of what we, well, more than half actually, what we plan to come and get. So now, we're going to see if we can get this one. And uh, I don't know how far out we're going to go, but uh, there should be some good firewood in here. And again, let me know what y'all think that is. I, I think it's silver maple. I'm, I'm just not sure. But uh, this is the one that, I'm telling you, I don't know what happened here, but I wouldn't want to be standing next to it when it did. That thing looks like it was just twisted right out of the of course the trunk's rotten but it looks like it was just twisted apart so anyway so we can do it <laughs> all right that worked out pretty good um the only problem was that uh my magnet on my measuring device came off so so much for that idea I'll, uh, i've got an idea on how to rework it but we'll figure that out so we uh man we got a bunch of rounds off of this thing um got out here to the small end and uh cut about as small as i thought i wanted to before just getting into stuff that wasn't even worth splitting and i found out once i started out here as i came back this way all the weight was back here and the way this thing was laying on the hill it just kept rising up and one of the big fears i've got is and I know you can't help it is running that chain uh, into the ground so as it worked out the end of it just kept rising up and up and I got it here to this far end and uh, had to cut down you know three quarters seven eighths way through it and then roll it over and finish it up but that was no big deal but yeah we got quite a bit out of this and it's pretty solid no uh I know that light's kind of bright but it's pretty solid doesn't appear to be rotten or punky uh it did get kind of rotten down here towards the butt end and i'm just not even gonna take that with me so but yeah good little load here this is probably be a couple trips up with the side by side good bunch of firewood so 
that's not bad for an afternoon's worth of work the uh, walnut that you see right there is was already here and then some of that lighter colored stuff right above it was already down here but uh, so I gotta get this split up get it stacked up like that over there and I think we'll uh, hopefully have enough wood to uh, at least get us started next winter it's a pretty good uh, yeah it's a pretty good stack right there all right so a little bit of a lesson learned there if you're uh, gonna buy wood that's advertised online unless you uh, unless you know who you're buying it from and you've dealt with them before or you've gotten a referral probably a good idea to go take a look at it yourself um, it was super convenient to have the have it delivered but we didn't get a chance to look at it and if I had looked at it earlier before I bought it probably wouldn't bought it again the dude that sold it real nice fella professional fella but he just was not a he wasn't a firewood guy and we just need stuff that we can actually burn and not have to work with and monkey with and all that kind of stuff to be able to get it in the stove and that sort of stuff that sort of thing so good afternoon uh splitting a little or uh, cutting a little bit of wood now we got to get this split so we'll have to pull the wood splitter out get to work on that that'll be another good little project one afternoon but anyway like we always say please remember to keep us in your prayers may god bless you and your families and we'll see you on the next video Bye.